everybody in this video today I'm going to be reviewing some chew necklaces now I have made some shorts videos about these already I did a video about my chew collection a very short one and one saying that you never need to be ashamed of using a chew necklace now there are many reasons why people use a chew necklace and I did cover this in one of the shorts videos but in case you didn't see that I will quickly recap people use chew necklaces for many reasons people might use them to stop nail biting, stop smoking, they may use it to reduce hyperactivity, they may use it to manage ticks that affect their jaw, they may use it to decrease anxiety, they may use it to decrease anger, they may use it to decrease sadness, they may use it because they're someone who tends to chew on collars or on pencils and chewing a pencil could potentially be dangerous if you get a splinter in your mouth so people may redirect that need to chew to using a chew necklace which is safer so there are many reasons why people may use a chew necklace and they are used by people of all ages babies use teething necklaces which are similar but chew necklaces are actually for people of all ages including adults i am an adult and i use chew necklaces i thought i'd just say that the reason that i use them personally are because they are calming to me and also they help manage a tick that i have it's a dystonic tick that starts in my jaw basically my jaw kind of tenses up and gets stuck in a position it makes it hard to talk but the tension also goes into my arm and into half of my chest which also makes it difficult to breathe so i found that when i bite down on something this tick actually stops so that is why i have the chew necklaces <laughs> This is the first one. I'm not sure if you can see. It is a cute little llama. I love this one. You can actually get this one in different colours. I think there was mint, pastel pink, pastel blue, white and brown. I got it in brown. Oh, I just thought it was cute. I don't know. I thought it was cute. And what I really like about this is on the back it actually has like little pumpkins engraved into it and that gives it some texture as well. So that's quite good. This is actually quite cool as well because it's not the same thickness all throughout uh, this bit here is a little bit thicker than like the bottom for example and i like to <laughs> nibble on the little leg bits it says it's not suitable for like aggressive chewers but parts of it are thicker like this bit particularly so you can chew quite hard on this bit but you do need to be gentler on these bits i like the bits where you have to be gentle though because I don't know it's just chewier and more satisfying for me personally but um it also has textured bits here as well you can get chew necklaces that are very plain just black I've had plain ones quite a lot before but I got one that was extra cute this time just because it made me very happy that it was cute and if it's something that makes me a little bit extra happier then why not so yeah I really like that chew necklace it is extra cute and it's nice to like nibble on the little legs that it has it doesn't really get to the back teeth that's the only issue i really have with it the next one that i have is this one that looks like a lego piece and it's very textured on the back as you can see um, i think this is pretty cool it's very firm it's a lot firmer than i expected when i ordered it i thought that it was going to be quite a soft one but it's not and i actually use it as more of a hand fidget than a chew i kind of use it like a worry stone and feel the grooves on that bit and stuff I use it more as a worry stone than a chew but it's intended to be used as a chew but yeah it's it's very very firm it's not that flexible it's really not that flexible the thing is with chew necklaces that have grooves in it's kind of annoying at times because i feel like this is kind of gross but i feel like your saliva can get stuck in the grooves this hasn't got saliva on by the way it has been washed and disinfected but like when it is being used why is there a cat hair on it they usually don't have cat hairs on either that's not good <laughs> but yeah uh, these when they are being used it's like the saliva can get stuck in the grooves and that's kind of gross so i prefer the smooth ones because that doesn't happen then and with the smooth ones you can easily just wipe them down if you need to it's harder with these ones so i think that's mainly why i use this as a hand fidget but also it is just easier to like hold like that and the thing is with this one you can get it in different colors but when i ordered it i didn't get to choose the color they have it in like red blue purple many different colors but you don't get to choose but i got sent a blue one but i'm actually happy with that because i have like a blue hat and some blue shirts so it goes with them i guess <laughs> 
Okay, so this one is my favourite and it's the one that I use in public the most. It's just, like, it's supposed to look kind of like a gemstone, I think. And it's quite nice because it's got, like, a almost a marble-ish effect in some ways. It looks a bit like marble, but it's white with black specks in, which I find quite cool. And this one is a little bit more flexible, as you can see. It is more flexible and it can bend. And this is more satisfying to use as well because when you bite it, it does actually have some give to it. It's not like biting into a piece of rock. <laughs> it, it does have some give to it, which is good because it makes it more satisfying to chew. It is actually chewy. And I think that this is very good for my dystonic ticks because... So this one is really good and it helps my dystonic ticks the most as... Fuck twonk the ah. <laughs> this can go to my back teeth and my dystonic ticks mainly reduce when the back teeth are used so this is extremely helpful in that sense and it's also easy to hold like i just hold the end and chew it like that so it is much easier to use as well than the other ones it's not as bulky it's more subtle so it goes with more outfits as well it looks quite grown up so i think this is definitely my favorite one overall like if you see that 